All right, Barbell just did a good video on D set point weight. Now I wanted to do a little follow up on this and some other items. If you haven't checked it out, check out Bardwell's video on D-Set Point Weight. And there's a bunch of other things that ran around in my mind at that same time. If you haven't seen the post from Flint Blackman in regard to setting a transition of 0.01, there's a glitch in Betaflight 3.3.1 and 3.3.2 that if you set it to 0.01, you have determined stability in a pretty big way. So if you're on either of those releases, don't set it to 0 0.01, either set it higher for transition, that is, not the term set point weight, or you can go into CLI and set it to zero, which disables it. Honestly, the best thing to do is just upgrade your firmware to 3.3.3, .3 or one of the builds of 3.3.4, or just don't touch anything and just wait for, I don't know, a week or so, and then the release candidates for 3.4 are probably gonna be out at that point. Now I have checked the butterfly defaults. The default for the D set point weight is zero, uh, same as beta flight. So I would suspect that that's not, you know, when people are showing, I don't know, <laughs> honestly, I think it really has to do with the PIDs. The PIDs are different in butterfly than they are in beta flight. They're better. And, uh, but those are just, I mean, you can just take those same PIDs and go back and forth, so. That's a superficial thing to me. That's not a, that doesn't say one firmware is better than the next. The PIDs and the default settings in Betaflight aren't great. I mean, honestly to me, the dynamic filter is off by default. What's that all about? That should be on by default. The notch filters, the old static notches are on by default. Those should be turned off and the dynamic should be turned on at this point. They just need to be modernized. And you can see, you know, it has a longer history. So, you know, the attention, you know, those things kind of got pushed by the wayside over time and so on and so forth. So. I think that's about to happen in Betaflight 3.4. Wanted to put some uh, things out there, some resources out there. There's actually a, and I'll drop this link below, by a gentleman, Flint, who is doing a feature request to update the PIDs, uh, yeah, PIDs and filter settings for Betaflight 3.4 release. So this is for 3.4. Now 3.4 is going to have the dual, uh, you know, stage one, stage two, low pass filters like 3.3, but each of them are both going to just be a PT1. It's either PT1 or biquad. And this kind of line leads up to that other video. You know, I, I wanted to explain why, you know, they're getting rid of all those other filters because they're all the same. It's also going to have, now this is new, it's also going to have a dual. Uh, stage or cascading option for low pass filters on the D term, which is, is kind of nice because then you don't, you know, in the past you've been stuck with biquad, which had a lot of latency, so prop, pulled out prop wash, or PT1, which in some p cases was a little too light. If you can cascade them, now you can kind of thread the needle in between. And then some other defaults like RC interpolation on the throttle and yaw are drastically overlooked, so that's people aren't doing that. They're not even turned on by default for throttle and yaw, which doesn't, it causes stepped responses for when you're increasing throttle and things of that nature. So anyways, check out these defaults. Now, if you're not on 3.4, some of these things aren't gonna be valid. So what I've done, if you go to my kind of repository, it seems to be coming, it's uh, if you go to uh, uh, tiny.cc filter calc, and I'll drop this link below, in here, I have those defaults. So it's there's different defaults for 32K versus 8K. And 8K means like 8K and below, and, and then 32K is kind of 8K to 32K, so if you're on 16 or whatever. Uh, and this is on the, the gyro. You know, if you're running 32 gyro but 16 PID, that you'd still use the 32K option. So this is the 3.4 ones. Those are there, check those out, and you would really just copy and paste them into the CLI, hit save. Now if you're, you know, you'd have to be on a build of 3.4, which you can get from the Jenkins website, but if you're not, and it's unstable, you know, it's not a stable release, quote, quote. They fly fine, I've never had an issue, but it doesn't say you, you won't. So if you're not into that, here's the 3.0. I've kind of pared them down to be 3.0. So you just click on these, they're just text files. Um, you should be able to open them here, yeah. And you just copy this, paste it, hit save, 
in the CLI and then it, your flight control will reboot and then you know I'd usually go back and check to make sure they've taken that kind of a thing. Do know that you know on the on the 8K we're moving that that lower low pass filter up. I my, these fly fine on my quad. I do not. I have some pretty significant motor. I have RCX motors. So anyways, these work fine for mine. My motors don't get hot. So check those out. But do notice this. Uh, um, gyro low pass filters moved up to 120. That makes a big difference in latency. Once you start, can, we can get those low pass filters up higher. That's that helps a lot. Uh, if you do want to pop in, I'm going to do a video on this. This is a um, the new features coming up in Betaflight 3.4, and this is some of the stuff that I'm seeing. Like, if you want flight focused improvement stuff, I've, the Betaflight team is so big that these I don't know. I just I don't know what to say. They're just really on it. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that, um, and there's a lot of math and science behind this. Go to the Slack, go to the, these are the pull requests. So the pull request is where this stuff originates. You can click on each one of those and go read up on it. They're doing charts and logs and all kinds of stuff. So back to the D-term notch, there's a, and I'll drop the, all these links below. There is a, a great write-up on the, um, I said D-term notch. Uh, there's a great write-up on this for the D-turn set point weight by CTZ Snooze. And if you haven't tracked him, if you go to any of the um, Betaflight wiki sites, he's all over it. Uh, you know, I've been following him for over a year now. And, uh, you know, th there's a lot of people that in this hobby, you know, Betaflight, Butterflight, Raceflight, that know way, way more than I do. These, this is one of the guys. I'm not saying, he, you know, there's a lot of people. I'm not trying to distract from anybody else, but read this. This is a great thing, and, and he agrees with Josh that, you know, it really should be Joshua, that it should be set to one, um, and he kind of outlines his reasoning and so on and so forth. So drop that link below if you're interested. There is, I want to recognize, you know, for those guys from Butterflight that, you know, there is new buttery PIDs coming out. This is controversial a little bit that this is basically the same exact thing as setting it to zero. So this is the opposite direction of Joshua's video on setting it to one. This is, setting it to zero is based on measurement of D set point weight, which will get sluggish versus error. So more sluggish, it depends what you call buttery. With a D set point weight, it's then, you know, with what's in beta flight or currently in butterfly, you can choose that based on a slider, the zero to one. This proposal does not let you choose. It's now, it's just gonna be based on weight. Ornery Tim is suggesting that there's more changes behind it. Uh, honestly, there's some people that have, you can see this post, some of the things are, yay, it's great. Some of the people are, no, this is not a good idea. Uh, somebody's done a unit test on this, I saw, and they're saying, look, it's the same thing as D set point weight. They unit tests, they go through the math, it gets a little argumentative. Um, it's called out as trolling, and then they close the they close the the PR. But once it gets merged and released, you can turn it on and off, which is awesome. If you're on the buttery pid setting, which I think, from what I grasp, if you choose profile two, that's the buttery pid settings, or just go verify by going into the CLI and turn it on or off. That D set point weight, that slider bar. In, I would assume it's going to still be there in Butterfly. Isn't well, this, I don't think this is even released yet. That slider bar is not going to have an effect. So that's, you're overriding that, and, and then I'll, this is how I do it. I just log both. If they don't show a difference, it's not there. That's all there is to it. So back to the data. Cuts through all this. And then you don't get that. Well, it's not real flight performance. Like it's an actual real flight. There you go. And I wanted to leave you with some flight footage, some DVR of some testing of Betaflight 3.4. This is a 8K, 8K quad. So the only difference is this has the default PIDs that I just mentioned above for 8K. And the filter setup, the only difference in the filter setup is instead of the low, the low stage two low pass filter at 300 Hertz, uh, looking at this specific noise profile for this, I had a, a secondary spike around uh, 490. I'll post the, uh, the log so you can check out the log. What I decided to do is just put a notch filter over that and turn off that stage two filter. The latency is less if you calc it out. And uh, obviously that static notch really kills that noise. And what that secondary uh, peak is, it's really the peak when I'm at full throttle versus 
the lower peak, which the dynamic notch is taken care of, is when I'm at, you know, like mid-throttle. It's the MTO part of it, the mid-throttle oscillations part. So the dynamic notch is hitting that, but then when I'm at full throttle, which isn't very frequent, I get this secondary peak because the dynamic notch doesn't move up as fast. You know, it's kind of averaged and it sits there. So anyways, other than that, everything is those defaults that I mentioned. So check them out and check out this footage. Okay, well that was it. Thanks, I hope this helps.